Despite the numerous socio-economic challenges facing Busoga sub-regions such as poverty, high school dropout rates, early teenage pregnancy, the region still has considerable potential, having once been an industrial, transport and agriculture hub. It is against this background that some people from Busoga have decided to take up the responsibility of improving the state of education in the sub-region through the Busoga Initiative for Education. The campaign aims to raise $1.2 million to address the challenges facing the region's education sector. While presiding over the launch of the fundraising efforts in Kampala on Friday evening, Speaker of Parliament Rebecca Kadaga urged the people of Busoga, especially the elite, to actively participate in improving the state of the schools in the areas they hail from. How many of us are members of the PTA in our village? What is the quality of the PTA in those villages of ours? We go for Christmas, we drive our cars, we wave. Are uh, we adding value? So I just want to appeal to us, at least the school near you, go there and add some value. Kadaga said poor school infrastructure was one of the challenges that must first be addressed. The teachers and the children all come late. So the chairman is telling me, nobody can catch you being late here because everybody is late. Teachers are late and the children are late. So, so I said, what's the problem? said, we, want a, we don't have houses. So I said, okay, let's put up one house. But I can't do that everywhere. So infrastructure is really important. The State Minister of Education, Rosemary Seninde, who represented Minister of Education, Janet Kataham Seven, said government was committed to returning teachers in Busoga region. We shall also make sure we, we teach them on effective scheming, effective lesson planning, effective assessment, and practical teaching. This business of talk and shock must end, and in Ibusoga it will be different now. So we are going to work together to make sure that there is practical teaching. Ibusoga Kingdom Prime Minister Joseph Movawala gave assurance of the kingdom's full support to the cause. So it is critical for us, as Oba Chabazing, first and foremost, to give you the necessary leadership, to give you acceptance in the region that you are coming to. So my presence here and the directive that I have is to give you all the support, to give you all the structures that be, to give you all the resources that we mobilize. Currently, Busoga region is ranked the worst performing in primary education, despite the region's track record of producing some of the best teachers and many well-educated people in the private and public sector. Statistics from the Uganda National Examinations Board, UNEB, in the last few years reveal disturbing information. In PLE, half of the bottom 10 districts in the last four years have been in Busoga region. Over 60 million Uganda shillings was collected, both in cash and pledges. Aaron Mukama. NTV Weekend Edition.